Welcome back guys to Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga where we're now searching not only for pieces of the bean star but the bean fruits that are all around the kingdom as you can see on the map that I'm just about to bring up. We have ourselves a fair bit of scouting and exploring to do so all I can really say is let's get doing just that. We've got to find ourselves weird flower or rock formations or anything like that but first of all considering there's a bean up here and a pathway over there is a ghost switch that we have not yet reached, and that seems fairly important. Try out all the secret things so we have another chuckle being gained. The way I think we're getting to this location is by a lot of spin jumping. So let's see if I can make it across, eh? Without losing Mario along the way. Because it seems that this is our location. So, ghost switch reached, what will it give me? Questions, questions. A little bit of static charge. We open up another bridge. And well, that bridge comes another blocked off wall. The funny thing is, I can't remember how we got into it in the first place now. That's weird. How did we? Well, just one hammer smash, of course. What were I doing? But now that we've got ourselves in here, what can we find? How did I forget that so fast? But anyway, uh, Luigi, you're in the way a bit. I'm trying to get in, honest. There we go. Alright, so another Mario run it course. Doesn't seem to be that much in the way of obstacles, he says, but slipping off is not what I meant to do there. What I was wondering is, was there a way down or was there something else going on with that shadow? But that shadow kind of threw me completely. Right, we'll jump over you. Under you. Those are the obstacles we really got to be wary of. I wonder if there's another secret passage around here. But making a good run for it there was definitely my best option. Oh, hello. Go away, you. But to be honest, you're a lot easier to pass. That doesn't mean I'm not wary of it. I mean, I should be able to just tear on through. So, we get ourselves another award, do we? Excellent job making it all the way here. Let me commemorate the moment with this team, please. We got iron pants. Iron pants, are they any good though? Let's do it. What happened to Luigi's passport photo? When did Luigi lose that? What's going on? But still, okay. Oh, it's because Luigi's not currently here, is he? So it looks as like that. Iron pants for Mario. The defense goes up tons. We get heavy. G, whatever that is. Does that mean that I can't jump very well? I imagine it probably does. Super defense for a debuff? I'd say that sounds about right to me. Come on, Luigi, now you're back with me. Get me to full size. And then out of here. Another secret passageway opened, another secret gained. It seems I can't go up any further than this. Well, that place done. It's time to find ourselves more. Let's find ourselves a bean fruit because it's not on this next screen from what I've located or what I've noticed. It doesn't say the map's anywhere near, but I wasn't expecting you, Luigi. Get caught there. Stop it at once. You're going to come in with multiple attacks? You are indeed. Even delayed ones. No, I want the double experience from you, sirs. We'll take the woo beans and maybe we'll get people leveling up soon, but to be honest, they're a little bit too fast for us. And I don't like that at all. Enemies should be slower than me. I can't really run away from them, and they're not really worth fighting with the amount of experience they give. But to be honest, all experience is good experience, especially when you get level ups finally. Cool! Right, so what do I want to level up this time? Power still isn't past 100 yet, but defense has, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be ones on that chart now. Is there ones? There is ones, but yeah, another two. I've got to really stop putting it in power at this point. I'm not getting what I want, but because Ma Luigi was shooting ever so high, we've now got ourselves another battle to deal with. It's too bad we can't be fast enough to get even more attacks in. Did I defend that, or did... That was confusing. Well, I definitely got double experience, but it looked to me like I did get a hit, but... It seemed like to me that there was a damage amount coming off of the enemy. Okay. Another one of you spiny guys, eh? I need to get up and defeat you straight away because, to be honest, I think we are in the right zone, maybe? 
Indeed, there is definitely a bean fruit somewhere around. So as enemies come dropping on us from above, we will get it! We will get it! It just takes us a little bit to bash through, because these aren't even going to give us any experience. Eight experience is not what I want to see. Right, we need to get up on high. And hopefully that was high enough indeed to get into a battle with him proper. Let's make sure no more thrown. No, 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 not jump. Jump is bad. Hammer, however, is good. Oh, being hit means I don't get even the double experience. Well, I'll even do the damage with something else, even though it won't give me the massive experience boost. Okay. So what are we looking for exactly? That's the question. Alright, there's a place up there. Well, to be honest, if you were going to look anywhere at all, you'd have to say, here's our location. Another bean fruit is ours! Grabbed without an issue. Is there any more areas to check out? Any more secrets? I think we've been this way, have we not? Because this, of course, was the secret path to the left. So... Let's get ourselves onward to our next location. So, let's check the map. It's a bit further to the right. In fact... I think it might be through here next. So, let's check this out by, well... Waiting a little bit and doing the power of editing. And so we reach the other side of the desert, he says, with a massive sigh, because of course the Koopa was just blocking the bridge to get to it, and a Koopa that we now cannot bash down, because of course we shouldn't be able to do it from this side, I don't think. Nope, not at all, but we have come to our bean fruit location. So let us get around, because of course it's a place we visited with Luigi on his lonesome before. So, with that said, switch around, get hammering me on the head, and get going on through! No, actually, wait a second. How am I supposed to dig beam fruit out? Or I could just get beam fruit there on the ground, he says. Get away! You're in love with the beam fruit? Give it back! Are you PT Piranha by any chance? Okay then, Luigi seems to be in battle. Can I jump on you without being chomped? I can't. So, you get to attack me whenever you want. Ah, fireballs! I'm failing to dodge them in so good. Right, so, no doing that. Well, how about does an electric attack work on you very well? Critical damage, in fact. We can't do any bros attacks, so if we're stuck in this battle... What oh, no, was that? I don't know what just happened there, but he had up whatever he spat out. And we'll go for more criticals. This impromptu, I wouldn't say boss battle, but mini boss battle. Coming out of the middle of nowhere, give me my bean fruit back! I'm just gonna keep electrocuting you at this rate. Don't pause on that, ow, I keep getting hit. But to be honest, only losing one HP overall in damage isn't gonna hurt me that much. As we get ourselves a piranha swing, whatever that is. And Luigi takes out a guy all by himself. And what did I do but save a miniature Prince Peasley? That's not a beam fruit. Oh, Luigi, you saved me, didn't you? Why, thank you so much, you're a huge help. But my mamai, Luigi. Look at how you've grown. No, you've shrunk. Definitely the other way. I see. I guess I wasn't aware of the whole shrinking business. Say, Luigi, I'm none too fond of this body size. Do you think you could change me back? I definitely have an idea. That doesn't exactly look appealing, though, does it? To think that you know such cool moves. You're a real zero. What do you mean, hero? Yes. Well, then, time to get my whacking on. Haha, <laughs> okay, but be careful. Don't mess up his beautiful smile. Time for you to be big again, Prince Beasley! You dashing man! Look at the difference in my shine now that I'm back to normal! Zing! Now that's a shine! Thank you so much, Luigi! I feel like I must thank you! Please, I insist you accept this! I found this inside that large piranha plant back there! Please take it! Why, thank you! We got ourselves a bean fruit, we got ourselves an item from whatever boss that was, 
Well, I've returned to my old self once again, so there's no point in staying here any longer. And Prince Peasley saved. Bye bye. Oh well. Aha! I will most definitely be getting the next Bean Star piece. Oh, and be sure to give my regards to Mr. Red Mustache. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No problem. Oh yeah. We we'll meet again after carrying the Bean Star pieces. Farewell, well, sir. Bye bye. As Luigi likes to say. So, with that done and done, what was the item that we managed to pick up there? Okay, so this is supposed to be as you, but no, we're gonna go, okay, it was Piranha Swing. Which auto boosts power once during battle? No, it does not. HP up hammer. Recovers HP with solo hammer attacks. That's not that bad, considering. We would lose, what do we lose here? Rose points to get hammer healing. For the same amount of power, I think I might put that on you, sir. I think that's a really good one. So, we can restore your HP with hammer attacks. You're not doing the jumping spike thing, so it makes sense to have it on you. Mario, we're off on an adventure yet again. I'm going to go check the desert to see if there's any more big turtles. But I'll meet you probably back at that turtle on the bridge. Let's open up the ways and keep looking for these beam fruits. With no giant turtle found in the desert, we take a little bit of a detour for some hints and tips that were given, or more to the point, obvious spaces for hidden blocks of warp that we don't think we've activated just yet as well. So with that said, let's get ourselves some more hoon beans before heading down and activating yet another warp that we have yet to do. If I remember correctly, we couldn't jump up there just at that time because of course we were having troubles. We needed hypnotizement, that's for sure. If we haven't activated it yet, we definitely will now. As we got warp number seven, so now our list looks more or less complete. Apart from warp number four, we're doing quite fine. With well, that said, though, we want to stay where we are. There should be one more hidden block to find around the castle, as I've been told. So, with that said, let's get going. And up to where Mario was being treated. Because, of course, we've got things going on here. Now, I wonder what happens. I can't just jump onto that to get there, okay. Well, it seems Mario can just jump on the pole as well as Luigi, but it doesn't do anything. So, where we need to go, maybe up here. Obvious little mushrooms should hopefully give us what we need. Though, to be honest, we can't actually make that jump. So, the question is, is how to get up. Can we jump from there, or is it, aha, jumping from here, you say? So what we really need is to switch a route, get Mario going. Okay, nothing here then. And keep checking each mushroom until we get lucky. And indeed we have who beans, so thank you for any tips you guys give me. With that done and warp set, let's get on out of here and bust down that turtle. So we reached the location of our next bean fruit with a turtle taken out along the way, though I didn't think I had to show you guys, you knew guys knew where it was. We come to here to bash you down, Luigi, and hope that we can pick it up indeed. Another bean fruit is claimed, another one gained, and without much of a fuss this time, so we should have, what is it, two more left now? And along the path, there does actually seem to be another piece of the bean star. Woohoo, University is quite near as well which supposedly will contain more locations of secret blocks that I have to go back and check. For now, I still wonder... What is this? Of course, there's a location down there we haven't checked yet. There's flying beans as well. How do I get down there? Well, if I remember correctly, there is indeed a ghost switch. So, I say we take another detour and find out if we can do anything about this. A piece of the bean star is around. We should go and grab it. Even if we are currently in the process of trying to grab another piece ourselves. Which way we go? That's the question. Was well, a safe lock over here. There was definitely beans to find. So we'll take that out, Chuckle Bean. I'm just wondering what's along this bit as well. A tree. A special tree by the look of it, though. It doesn't look like anything is going with it. Hitting it does nothing. I don't know exactly what its purpose is. Hmm. Apart from that, though, we do find our way to get some more hoo beans. Right there, cool. Not even in a hidden block. I do wonder if there's any other hidden blocks hiding around here. Or hidden anything. 
But still, I'm glad to have checked that out, though. This seems incredibly suspicious to me. Anyway, let's head down for now. And find out what's along this path. I'm pretty sure we read a sign that said, Splat Assistant, Inquire of Inn, Ask for Har Hall. Okay, well, we're after beans, not splart. After a piece of the bean star, and considering the fact that one's locked in the cage here, with a key as well, something's got to be going on, yarf! Impossible! No way am I working with explosive colours like those! Explosive colours, you say? Water! Drank too much water! Okay. What is going on? Someone drank too much water and there's explosive colours. Honestly, what is one to do with such riffraff? Oh, welcome, welcome! I'm called Haru, genius designer, and I'm also called Bleach. Yes, we are one and the same. What? Did you know? No. Did you know? No. Obviously, yes, though. Yes, yes, whatever. Am I correct in assuming you're interested in the splot assistant opening? Uh, I don't know. Fine, fine. If you do a decent enough job, I'll pay you. Your pay will be... A bean star piece? A bean-like thing that cascaded down from the heavens. Ta-da! Oh, yeah. What, do you have some sort of complaint? <laughs> no, no, we actually want that. That's better. Now then. Okay, we have pipes which have flying bombs. You can help me with my splat right away. But you must be snappy. Just do it and get it done. What? Don't mind me. I'll just give you a little advice while you work. Trust me, you need it. First, go have yourself a drink so you can become a proper splat water pump. Once you're able to pump out water like a human fire hydrant, step on those little footmarks. Try it. Uh, okay. Mario, fill yourself to the brim. You could be a splat assistant. And then step on the marks. Fine, fine! I'll explain the method of my genius. Though the genius of splat defies explanation. First, you must dye the fabric. Press the B button to shoot water at the design bomb. Try it already, try it! I will if you stop talking. The color of the design bomb you hit. Will be the color of the shirt when it's hit? Colors the fabric! Indeed it does! Oh, by the way, if you hit two design bombs at the same time, then the fabric color becomes a mixture of those two colors. Don't forget, it's vital to splat! Oh, and one more teensy thing! If you're dying fabric and you think, bah, that's all wrong! Just talk to Bleach! He'll make the fabric nice and shiny white for you. Ah, you're Bleach, are you? Once you're done dying, then you choose your design! Okay, that's the design. You get to shoot water at the artsy bombs again. Isn't it just so fun you could die? Literally. I like the pun. Patterned. The design of the design bomb you shoot. It, it goes on there. Yeah, yeah I, I get that. Yeah, no problem. Alter the design on your duds. The design bomb patterns are. Stripey. The tropical design. Okay, then. The polka dot design. And the checkered design. By the way, if you hit two or more design bombs, the pattern always ends up being a star. Remember that. Once you're done with the design, I'll decide if it perfectly matches the artistic vision of Splat. So yeah, anyway, that's the method of my genius. Now I'll need you to finish four outfits for me, okay boys? Hop to it! Okay. This shouldn't be too hard. What do I have to tell you so I can start on your first assignment with full speed? As for design, anything will do. Just give me a red colour. Okay, a red colour then. A red colour! And then top up again, I guess. Any design will do, isn't it? Have a checkered design. Yes, that's it. It will do fine. Next on to the next one. Let's see. The next design is... I want something in yellow. Oh, and in a checkered pattern. Okay, then something in yellow. So the thing is, I end up having to wait then. Oh, that's red. That's not good. Where's bleach? Where's bleach? You bleach as well, yes? I want to start fresh, yes. Very well, then that's just a moment. Let's splat on you. Indeed, I want something in yellow and in a check pattern. 
It's kind of hard to hit it, isn't it? Oh, just about. All right, check pattern we need. So we need some more water. That shouldn't be too hard to hit, considering it's the first one on the list. All right, that's two shirts done. Next design is some purple polka dot. So you want red and blue together, eh? Oh, that was the time, wasn't it? Oh, oh, gotcha! Purple! With a polka dot design, eh? I can't really hit yet, can I? No, no, that's not good! Well, I got a star design, so that's kind of interesting. Wrong one, though. No, 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 this is all wrong. You've started from scratch. Give me some purple! With a polka dot. Okay, we'll, we'll do it, we'll do it. Chill! Chill! We'll douse you with water next. Oh, only the blue. That's not good enough. Well, I seem to have to cancel again. No pattern yet because we have to start fresh. Let's get once again. We'll splat in you. Come on, purple the polka dot. I thought I had the right shot there. There we go. That's purple. And the polka dot's easier said than done. Another star design gained. So I keep getting stars. I keep splatting wrong. But, guys, I think we'll stop for now. To get this bean star next episode. We've kind of been scouring around for all the secrets as well as getting ourselves more bean fruit. We fought ourselves a boss as well on top of that and saved Prince Peasley. But to be honest, with all our work, we should be able to pick up at least two pieces of bean star hopefully next episode. Join me then for more Superstar Saga. And I'll see you around. Bye bye. You must remember to breathe.